Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the things you can use as an input with Affinity Photo is a pen instead of a mouse. And uh, mine looks a bit like this. I've got a very, very old Wacom bamboo uh, tablet, but it works just fine. It doesn't do some of the things that the newer tablets do, but it's OK for me. So let's see what it does. So I can go down here, I can select a paintbrush and I can paint as normal. However, if I click on this thing up here, now when I paint, it starts off small, but if I push harder, it gets bigger. And if I ease off, so I can make it a bit like a paintbrush where I push harder and the brushes, you know, splay out and so on. So that's what it can do. But what it can also do, if I turn that off, if I go to the More button down here, and go to Dynamics. Down here, I've got various controls, which will control the various different ways that the pen works as I paint. And if I turn this up here, and this, there are various controls here. Some of these are for more complex um, pens, which I don't have, but pressure works just fine. So that now when I paint here, I can press harder and press less and so on. And it has the same effect as the force pressure button up here. And also I can control any of these things down here as well. So just for an example, if I turn the hue up a bit, at the moment it's random, so I'm just going to get varying patterns as I move the brush. But if I change that to pressure, now as I paint, i got one colour pressing gently and if I press harder I get other colours. So this is, gives you a lot more control with the brush. So let's turn that off for now. Turn off those because what, this is a... I missed something here which is this one here. Turn that down. There we go. Thank you very much. Right so now back to normal. Now normally if I try to draw a straight line it's, there's a bit of variation on it with the pen, and if I try to draw around this circle, that's even harder. You know, even you know this sort of thing. Although I can use Shift and click like I can with the mouse, so you can at least do that. But if you want to do it a different way, you can use the stabilizer. So if I click on that, to turn it on. And there's two here, this one and this one, so they toggle backwards and forwards. And there's a length thing here. So I'm going to make this long, and you'll see what it is in a moment. So you can see the effect. And that's that if I, if I normally draw a line, it's going to be difficult to draw it straight. But if I draw this, well, looks what, look what's happened here. I've got, it's almost like I've got a bit of rope. So it draws where that cross is, and the circle is where my mouse is. So now if I move up and down, you see it's a lot straighter. This is good for, particularly for drawing straight lines. So I click at that corner and I move out and I move along that line. And when the red ink gets to the end, I stop, I come back, and my little bit of rope drops down and I can go down and come up and go across and come up and go up. There we go. So that gives me a lot more control. Now the other one is better for curves. And again, it's got a thing here. And let's turn this up a bit so it, I can, can see it a bit more. Now when I draw, again it's got something here. But if I come backwards, look at it, it comes back in strangely. But if I go up and down, it's even better for t at keeping it smooth. So if I want to draw around this circle, Let's get rid of that. Uh, oh, never mind. I just need to keep my little circle where the mouse is pretty much on the edge. I can go very fast and see how smooth it is. So it gives you a lot more control that in that way. So I can even draw a nice little smile here. How about that? Okay, that's primarily what the the mouse, uh, so the the pen and tablet can do, and uh, I use it say for specific things like 
drawing in things and painting around and things where things like the snap to edges is not going to work so well uh, when I'm doing selections so it, it, you can do it more accurately using a pen once you get used to it. So there we go, hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.